Greeting students. Today we will be studying about synthetic fibers that is from your science subject chapter number 3. What are fibers? Fibers are thread like material that are woven into fabric. What are fibers? Fibers are thread like material that are woven into fabric. There are two types of fibers. First is natural fiber and second is synthetic fiber. So how many types? There are two types, natural and synthetic. So what are natural fibers? All the fibers which are obtained from plants and animals are called as natural fibers. All fibers which are obtained from plants and animals are called as natural fibers. So here is the picture. Cotton from a cotton plant, silk from the silk womb, wool from the sheep, hair fibers from rabbits and goats, linen from the fax plant. So these are the natural fibers. So we can obtain natural fibers from both plants and animals. So here are the examples of plant fibers. Cotton. Cotton fiber is obtained from the cotton plant. It is one of the traditional fibers used in the textile industry. Next is linen. Linen fabric is obtained from the flax plant. The properties of linen fabric are very much similar to cotton fabric. Third is jute. Jute is obtained from the jute plant. On the account of its high strength, it is perfect for use in packaging material. Next is animal fibers. So silk. Silk is obtained from silkworms. The most popular kind of silk is obtained from the mulberry silkworm. Next is wool. Wool is commonly obtained from sheep. Wool fabric is soft to touch and provides warmth to the weather, due to which it is the preferred choice for winter apparel. Yak fiber. Yak is an animal that is largely found in Himalayas in India and Tibet. The hair of the yak is very useful in production of warm clothes, mats and sacks. Now let's talk about synthetic fibers. What are synthetic fibers? The fibers which are made in factories by humans using different chemicals are called as synthetic fibers. So those fibers which are produced by humans using different chemicals are known as synthetic fibers. So a synthetic fiber is a chain of small chemical units joined together. Each small unit is called a monomer. So synthetic fiber is joined with small units known as monomer and a large chain formed by many monomers is called a polymer. So when we join small small units of monomer, these monomers form a long chain known as polymer. And the process of combining small monomers to form a large polymer is known as polymerization. The process of combining small monomers to form a large polymer is called polymerization. So the most common monomer is ethene. So here is the example. We will talking about monomer ethene. So when it is joined together in a long chain, it is called as polyethene. And polyethene is a type of plastic. So when we join 1000 units of ethene, we form polyethene. When we join 1000 units of glucose, we form cellulose. And we jo when we join the 1000 units of amide, we form nylon. Next is types of synthetic fibers. So we have different types of synthetic fibers. There are mainly four. First is rayon. Next is nylon. Then polyester and acrylic. So rayon, nylon, polyester and acrylic are types of synthetic fibers. First is rayon. Rayon is prepared from cellulose. Through though cellulose is a natural polymer, it needs extensive chemical treatment to form rayon. It is also called artificial silk. So rayon is prepared from cellulose and cellulose is obtained from wood. Okay, wood pulp. Then cellulose is, though is a natural polymer but it needs extensive chemical treatment. Then it is also called as artificial silk because it shows the property of silk. It absorbs moisture and is comfortable to wear. 
it can be easily dyed in vivid colors next properties of rayon rayon can be easily dyed and woven into cloth it drapes well it is lustrous in appearance and it is a good absorbent of sweat let's have a look the uses of rayon so when mixed with fiberglass for making helmets it is used to make jackets and track suits it is used to make surgical dressings reinforcing nylon tires upholstery for luxury cars and office and home furnishing curtains because it drapes well the net dress material because it is soft silky and moisture absorbent the next synthetic fiber is nylon so nylon chemically is a polyamide when we join 1000 units of amide polyamide poly polymer is formed it is the strongest synthetic plastic material which can be molded to any shape it is strong and easy to dye nylon fibers do not absorb water easily it is elastic in nature and hence highly durable properties of nylon nylon is toughest elastic material it has high tensile strength it's slightly water absorbent but dries quickly it can be molded into fibers bristles sheets rods tubes and coatings it resists oil grease moths fungus and other pest it can be made into pallets or powdered it is very lustrous and easy to wash uses of nylon nylon is a stretchable so it can be used to make stretchable wears making sarees seat belts upholstery robes reel thread thread sleeping bags swimwear raincoats tracksuit fishing nets and fishing lines next is polyester alcohol and organic acid react to make compounds called esters which are polymers polymers come under the brand names of terylene dacron terene and polyester next properties of polyester resistant to pest and chemicals it dries up quickly it is easy to wash and does not shrink or stretch it forms a permanent crease if heated and pressed it is tough lightweight and elastic now uses of polyester polyester is used to make magnetic audios and video cassettes and floppy disk it is highly suitable for shirting suiting sarees and draperies mixed with fiberglass for molding it into helmets protective sheets and hulls and boats next we will talk about acrylic so acrylic is often used as substitute for wool acrylic fibers are strong and drinker resistant it is easy to wash and dries quickly it is resistant to moths oils chemicals and deterioration on exposure to sunrise sunlight now we will see the properties of acrylic acrylic is resistant to moths soft with crimps resembling wool it is very durable light and washable it is very strong and stain resistant also available in sheets and it can be dyed in different colors now uses of wool wool is used for knitting it is good for baby wear because they are soft warm and washable it is used for making artificial fur blankets carpets etc a transparent type of acrylic is used to cover automobile lights lenses surgical tools etc so what are blended fibers fibers like terylene and cotton blend are known as terricot it is used to make dress materials terylene and wool blend is known as terry wool and is used as a substitute for costly woolen clothes polyester and cotton blend is more crease resistant and acrylic and wool blend trousers are very less expensive next we will talk about the advantages of synthetic fibers so synthetic fibers are strong so that they can take up heavy things easily they can retain their original shape so that it's easy to wash and wear it is very elastic so it can be easily stretched out 
they are next very soft generally soft so that they are used in clothing materials then colors there are a variety of colors available as they are manufactured cost so clothes made by synthetic fibers are generally cheaper than those made by natural fibers disadvantages of synthetic fibers so first this advantage is does not absorb moisture synthetic fibers do not absorb sweat trapping heat in our body that is they do not let the water evaporate rough feel synthetic fibers may give rough feel making it unsuitable for pajamas underwear etc it is dangerous to wear near fire as they catch fire easily and they cannot be easily ironed as they melt very easily so let's look to a difference between synthetic fibers and natural fiber together here is the table for natural and synthetic fibers so natural fibers are obtained from plants and animals whereas synthetic fibers are man made fibers obtained from coal petroleum air and water natural fibers are weak and can break easily but synthetic fibers are strong and do not break easily natural fibers can get creased easily whereas synthetic fibers generally wrinkle free natural fibers are not durable synthetic fibers are durable natural fibers absorb a lot of water but synthetic fibers do not absorb much water natural fibers can be easily eaten by moths but synthetic fibers are resistant to moths and insects natural fibers can not be dyed easily but synthetic fibers can be dyed easily natural fibers fade after few washes synthetic fiber do not fade on washing natural fibers shrinks after washing they do not synthetic fibers do not shrink natural fibers comparatively are heavy and do not have a smooth texture whereas synthetic fibers are quite lightweight and extremely fine so i hope you have all understood the topic and please like and subscribe